Munchie Doodle. It's been three weeks. We have a dog. That's right, my life has changed forever, but for the better. I've become responsible for something other than myself. I did not know how much life was gonna change. Right when we got her, we cleaned her, we took care of her, we got her her crate. She liked it, she slept in it, she didn't even make a noise until the morning when we had to pee her and feed her all of the necessities in life. We tried training her, and then she peed inside. Oh, oh. no peeing. Going outside. Going outside. So every single day since we got the dog, JP was like, we have to go into the mirror and say day one, day two, day three. And I was like, JP, like that's really, really monotonous. Why don't we do like week one, week two, week three. I think we missed a few days in between. We even changed outfits one day to make it look like two days because we missed a few days. And then JP actually got sick of it himself. So now we go bi-weekly. And our friend Michelle drew out this beautiful chalkboard that says her name on it, her day that we got her on there. And obviously, this is a perfect time for a photo shoot. Like, this dog doesn't know it yet, but she's gonna be Instagram famous. She's gonna be an influencer. It's been quite the journey. I've been trying to do my best as a father to feed and wipe and clean and throw out poop. We dressed her up as Mr. Pig. That was fun. I don't think she liked it very much. This is day three. And she's a little piggy. She's replacing Mr. Pig. She made a friend, Sponge, our neighbor, a beautiful freaking dog. I can't wait for them to actually be able to like sniff butts, but they're social distancing until all the shots have been put into the little baby. She loves to chew toys and she loves to bite. By the way, I have a few marks now that are, uh, right in the palm. Three weeks ago, she was this size, and look at her now. So let's bring you back a couple weeks to her first puppy class. Today's the day, Munchie. It's your puppy class. Are you ready for class? Does that mean yes? I think so. Yes, she's ready. She's ready to go. Let's go to class. JP and I are going together, and we're gonna also get trained to see if we've even been doing what we've been doing so far correctly. So far she sits, but she doesn't know how to lay it out. Munchie, yes. Yes. And the first thing that we had to learn was just to reward her to get her attention. Focus. Munchie. Yes. 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 Who to think it? She needs to know that we're looking at her and when she's looking at us all the time, that's when you know that she's your dog. Once we got past focus, we taught her to sit. And then we played this game where she touched her nose to our hand and we just put a little treat here and we had to keep her focus. Every single time that we added another time that she touched her nose, the better. And yeah, she got to eat a lot of treats during puppy class. I love the training part. I think it's great when I can just mold this creature to eventually the goal is to be my servant. I just wanna sit there, Munchie, come over here. Bring me my coffee. Yeah, I mean, not to brag or anything, but our dog was like doing everything that we said, like really appropriately. I don't know if it's the YouTube videos, on puppy training that we've been watching, but our dog is freaking on it. The best dog in class. Like one dog's like barking loud and the other dog is just like kind of like not sitting, kind of trying to get in close with our dog when we know we social distance during puppy class. That's why there's only three dogs allowed. And there you have it, guys. That was Munchie's first day in school. Oh my God. She did so good. She did so good. We even got a picture and I'm gonna post it on her Instagram at Munchdoodle. And then as we left, we saw this giant poodle. And JP was like, is that how big our dog is gonna be? She's gonna be a big girl. She's a golden doodle. So she's 25% golden retriever, 75% poodle. So now we're finally at the point where we can actually train her to sit and stay while we prepare her food. Because way too many times she's way too excited when I'm loading food into her little bowl. Paw, paw. She doesn't know paw yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been days and days of training and repetition, bringing her out to the bathroom and watching her and cleaning up pee and then complimenting her and saying yes every single time she freaking pees outside or poops outside. And before we knew it, Munchie just started getting so big. And someone asked us, like, have you weighed her? Well, no, like, I didn't really think about it too much, but let's do it. And then we find out that she's like over two pounds 
heavier than when we first got her. And we also found out how much JP weighs. 156.9. I'm getting fat. So everything is going good. We're starting to be on a schedule. And then one day, she just started throwing up after she ate. It was really strange. She was showcasing like odd behaviors. I called the clinic. I was like, is this something that I should be worried about? Yeah, Julia is really taking this on. I think it's the mother instinct in her. I think, believe it or not, Julia, deep down inside, wants to have a ginormous family. We're, we're, we're thinking like at least 17 children, uh, four dogs, and zero cats. No offense. Mom, I'm sorry. I love your cats when they're not around me. So we took her to the vet the next morning and I was like really freaking nervous. Like all of this that's happening right now is like super intimidating. This is like my baby. We've only had her for three weeks and I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen? You can't cut her open like that. So I'm freaking out and we get in there and oh, everything seems normal. She's hydrated. That's good. And then she's like, we just have to take an x-ray if that's okay. About 10 minutes later, she comes back with the x-ray and she's like, I don't know, there's this space here that doesn't look right. And there's all of this food here in her stomach. I didn't feed her a lot for breakfast. So there might be something obstructing her stomach in there. Just waiting for the little god dong little puppy to poop. Munchie, you're gonna get better. She didn't poop, she's constipated. Oh, I think she's hungry. She's hungry, but she can't poop. <laughs> poop, please poop. I know you can do it. Poop for me, poop, <laughs> poop, poop, please poop. So they took their little finger and they put it up her butt and they pulled out a seed about the size of a freaking silver dollar. Like, oh my gosh, I don't even know where she got this seed from. Is that from our own backyard? You gotta be able to watch every single thing that they do. She's been eating everything and I, I allowed that to happen. So I am to blame. Uh, Julia doesn't know this, but every time I, I take Munchie for a walk and she decides to eat, I don't know, a rock, I thought she was just teething. And then I realized later she swallowed the rock. And now she has a rock in her intestine, um, I think. Or maybe it was like an acorn, a nut. She swallowed a nut. My little girl. <laughs> but good news is it excreted. I need your help, guys. I'm new to this whole dog thing. This is a lot to handle, and, and I know that I'll get better at it. So guys, in the comments, if you guys are dog people, you can tell me I'm, I'm doing everything wrong. Day two at the clinic, this dog is definitely not feeling 100% right. So she still hasn't pooped. We go the next morning to the clinic, and this time they don't even let me in because they're like, okay, we're just taking the x-ray. You don't need to be consulted. See, this is the hard part. This is the part I did not know that was gonna happen. She's gonna get sick in the first three weeks we have her. Poor little baby. So they take the dog, they come back with the dog, and they say, okay, they got the x-ray, but the doctor is not there. Oh, Munchie, I think she wants to poop over here. <laughs> I have poop back. Go poop! Go poop! This is my life now. Oh, yes. There it is. Yay! Yay! She did poop. But to leave on a cliffhanger, I have no idea if she's okay. So, we'll be back with another video about that. I think the journey is going to continue. Obviously, we're we're documenting all the cute things every day. I just hope week four and five and six are gonna be better. I'm so worried she's gonna be fine because she did poop once. That means things are working, right? She ate and she drank and she pooped. She's being a puppy. She's playful. Things are good. Follow her at Munchie Doodle for life updates.